In absolutely no time, you'll know the basics of After Effects and be well on your way to making a living from making videos. And like me, you could be living your dreams making work like this. So this is the standard layout and on the left we have the project panel. Home to all of your assets such as video files, photos, audio, simply drag and drop. To keep everything neat and tidy, create a folder by clicking the little folder icon at the bottom of the project panel. You want to get into the habit of naming everything as you go. So the composition panel is where the majority of the work is done. Click this icon at the bottom of the project panel. This will bring up the composition settings where you can name your composition, plus change your aspect ratio and your frame rate. Alternatively, you can just pick a preset. Oddly enough, in the world of video, frame rate can be a hotly debated topic. Now, personally, I prefer 24 frames per second for a more filmic look. You'll also wanna change the duration. You can adjust this later, but unlike most editing applications, the timeline is not infinite. So start with a decent guess. Okay, so we've covered the project panel and the composition panel, and you're still here. So you're doing great, okay? You can totally do this. Let's keep going. Below we have the timeline, which has opened up our new composition. So far it's empty, so let's create a new solid. A solid is just a color really. Right click on the timeline panel and select new solid. Hit the make comp size button and pick a color you really vibe with. The area that was black is now pink. This is called the composition panel. Let's drag an image in too. Another way to import assets is by double clicking on the asset in the project panel over here, which will open the footage panel. It's called the footage panel even if you double click on a still image, audio or a solid. After Effects allows for a lot of customization in panel layout. So let's drag this footage panel over next to the composition panel. Now we can see both at the same time, which is handy. To play the footage panel, click and then hit space. To play the composition instead, select the comp panel or click anywhere in the timeline panel. Let's set an in and out point for some footage. In other words, where we want this clip to start and end by clicking the in and out brackets. Then click this little overlay edit button. You can further adjust the length of your layers by selecting the ends of layers and dragging. And you can also move the layers back and forth in time. And yes, there is shortcuts for all of this. Don't worry about it too much right now though, I'll share all of my favorites in a future tutorial. So say your comp's too long for what you wanna export, nothing's happening at the end. You can change the length in two ways. Select composition, composition settings, and adjust the duration there. Or you can drag the work area start and finish to where you want it, and then select composition, trim to work area. Okay, the time has come to really start creating. Let's make some tasty titles. To get a new title or text, there's a T in the tools panel at the top, allowing you to click anywhere in the composition panel. Type your title and then click away in another panel. Now you can move the title around simply by clicking and dragging. If you wanna center it, use the align panel on the right. And if you don't see that panel, go to window and select align. You can also use the paragraph tool to left, right, or center align the text. Say you want to change the font. That's what the character panel is for. Let's also adjust the size, go all caps, and change the color. Okay, so now let's learn how to use effects using what's called an adjustment layer. Create a new adjustment layer by selecting the timeline or composition panel and navigating to new adjustment layer in the top menu. So you can both apply effects to an individual layer or you can apply effects to an adjustment layer which will instead affect everything below it. Your effects panel will likely be top right. You can either scroll to find what you want or use the search bar. Let's apply a blur by either dragging the effect onto our layer or with the layer selected, simply double click the effect. The effect control panel is now on top of the project panel. Here we can change all of the parameters of the effect we have applied. There's so many effects, but look out for my tutorial on the most used effects and hey, why not hit the subscribe, hit the little bell icon so you get a little ding when it's time to learn.
Say we want to make something move or fade in or any changes really, we need to use keyframes. Scroll down this little arrow and under effects, you can adjust the same parameters as in the effects control panel. And under transform, you'll find the position, scale, rotation, and opacity. We can set our first keyframe by hitting the stopwatch button in the effect controls or in the timeline panel. To create a second keyframe, we move the current time indicator and instead of clicking the stopwatch again, we either click the little keyframe icon far left or we simply change the parameters by dragging or typing. If you click the stopwatch a second time, you will delete all of your keyframes for that parameter. So probably don't do that. You can select a keyframe and drag it in time. You can go to the next or last keyframes by using these little arrows and you can continually make micro adjustments to the keyframes until you're happy. You can create a fade up by animating the opacity. Create a slow zoom in by animating the scale and even animate the text in using position. Okay, before the final step, I just wanted to say a huge thank you for watching so far by giving you a free gift. It's my digital goodie bag. Is it an After Effects project? Is it some cool assets to use in your next creation? You're just going to have to click the link in the description to find out for yourself. When you're ready to share your masterpiece with the world, aka export, go to composition, add to media and code queue, and this will open up Adobe Media Encoder. It's a different program, but it works with Premiere and After Effects. So learning the ins and outs of export settings will come with time, but for now, let's simply search for the YouTube preset for anything that you're thinking of uploading to the interwebs. So drag the preset onto your video, then click here to change where the video will be exported to. You can also click this little switch to use the same aspect ratio as your composition. Or alternatively, if your After Effects masterpiece is for an edit in Premiere Pro, instead of exporting it, there's actually a sweet little bonus feature called Dynamic Link, which will let you drag an After Effects comp right onto your Premiere sequence. You are well on your way. To dive a little deeper, click on this video to get some pro tips and tricks how to set your work apart from everyone else's. My name is Grant M. Fletcher. I love you, Jesus loves you. See you in the next one.